Sip City Podcast, y'all already know how it go. We got the crew here today, me, the host with the most, Mr. T to the E to the double R A N C E. you know what I'm talking about? Ooh, that went the wrong way, didn't it? Be cool. Uh, then we got Mr. TZ in the building. You see where he at? Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Southern Black Messiah, self-proclaimed. <laughs> Once again, we here. We with here. that bullshit Lakers had on, and they lost. <laughs> well, 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 you know. <laughs> They fucking lost. I mean, you to can't. The Suns. You can't win them all. I mean, look, it's a it's a seven it's a seven game series. Yeah, that's true. It is a seven so, game series. You now. know, hey, we lose one. Uh, uh, all we gotta do is win one out of uh, out of Phoenix and uh, we take home court advantage. That's all we looking for. That's all you looking for. They say the playoffs don't start until the road team get the win. That's what they say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, matter of fact, I sat there yesterday. And I watch basketball all day long. And for any of you basketball fans, you know, that's like hog heaven. Yeah. Yeah, I sat there and uh, we grilled and chilled and uh, watched basketball. So, you know, even though the Lakers lost, you know what I'm saying, we still seen a lot of good good basketball oh, play yeah. yesterday. Who got upset? Mm, I would have to say Memphis upset. Who they playing? Memphis upset. They playing uh, Utah, ain't they? Memphis upset Utah yeah. last night. And they upset my goddamn Warriors. Shout out to, to Stephen Curry. Yeah, yeah. Fuck Steph. He got his ass beat. <laughs> uh, somebody else got beat yesterday. Uh, or low seed beat a, beat a high seed. No. Yesterday. We supposed to know. We supposed to be up on this shit. I'm telling you, man. It's, Alcohol is a hell of a drug. I ain't it though. I sat there and watched all them games. Man. Oh, I do want to say this too. Uh, rest in peace to the great Paul Moon. You know, he was a comic legend, man. And you know, condolences to his family. But man, he left a legacy out here. I do want to say that while I'm looking up these NBA scores. Paul Mooney was a uh, was a great comic. Great comedian. Great writer. Great writer. Somebody said that he was a little wishy-washy, but I, I mean, I, I don't know. Oh, no, nah, I don't know about that either. Nah. I don't know about that. Once they said it, then I went back to looking at some of the stuff he did, then I can kind of see why they did say it. But, hell, who, who knows? I, ain't, I, I don't I don't judge. Yeah. Oh, that, the, the other big upset was the Mavericks over the Clippers. Yes. So yes, both yes, L.A. Yes, teams yes, went down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, I, I don't. I don't believe in PG Paul George. No oh, uh, PG and PG thirteen. Mm -hmm. oh, they, they call him non playoff P nine. <laughs> he ain't gonna get it done in the playoff. I don't give a damn. Oh man, Paul George still is a great competitor. I mean, shit. My thing is, I need for Kawhi to step up. He supposed to be the great LeBron killer, they say. Uh, but he got to step up, man. Kawhi ain't really playing like 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 they say. Kawhi had a hell of a dunk yesterday. He dunked that bitch over something. I forgot who he dunked that bitch over. He come through that bitch. He he flushed that mug Man. on somebody head. Shit. Then Luka Luka Donitz, uh, the youngest NBA player now to record a triple double in the in his playoffs. Uh, he passed up uh, Kareem Abdul Jabbar, I do believe. Oh really? Yeah, being the youngest player to, to record a triple double. I mean, um, I, I, I mean, I like Luca, but I mean, I don't like Luca. He, 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 he complained too much. I think he overrated a little bit. I mean, he's a hell of a player. Don't get me wrong, but I mean, as far as athletic, I mean, you know, slow players like that, and not really a lot of you know athletic ability to me. Yeah. You know, I like I rather see a slasher. You know, somebody like. Like uh, like a uh, young D Rose, you know man. that's 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 what I consider an athlete. Uh. Yeah, D Rose, man, he was a beast. I mean, he's still playing to this day. He's still giving buckets. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, then I just looked at it. Uh, the the who was that? Get back to it. 
See the Grizzlies, they beat the Spurs. No, that wasn't. That was last week. I'm tripping. Uh, playoffs round one. Trailblazers beat the Nuggets, which I can, I, I see that because dang dang little man, he, he a beast. Oh yeah, that was that was a, that was another. Yeah, that was another upset. That was the big upset. But to me, that wasn't an upset because Portland is a solid team. I mean, I understand that. Only thing I'm saying, the upset is because of the seedings. Yeah. The, 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 you know, you you got a two uh, seven seed beat a two seed. Yeah, but I mean, right now this playoff situation, man, it's a toss up. It is. It's it on, is. and then it's on both. It's not just in the east or west. It could go either way. You yeah. know, you know, uh, the Nets. They beat the Celtics. They beat the Celtics to sleep. I lost money on that game. Did you you bet against the Nets? No. I bet that uh <laughs> I bet that my cousin, uh, Jason Tatum, I bet that he was gonna go for forty. But uh it didn't happen. He 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 you had a he had a bad game. His cousin shit. He had a bad <laughs> game. Uh, that's my cousin. <laughs> Just because, just because you got some Tatums in your family don't mean that that's your cousin. Well, I mean, we claim him. I don't know. <laughs> so you don't know if he claim y'all. I don't know if he claim us or not. <laughs> <laughs> man, but yeah, man, the NBA, is, like I said, and I actually, and I want to talk about that too with that, the, the playoff play. I know Adam Silver, man, he wants to he wants to keep the play. And I'll be honest with you, I like it. I like it. it. makes It makes it more interesting now when it comes down to the to the last of the to the last of the regular season. I mean, because now you just can't tank games. Yeah, it's different. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's 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 not like you say. Okay, you got your seed now. You know, hey, we put these players and rest our starters. Yeah. And, you know, you can't do that when you're trying to get into the uh, get into the tournament. That's so. it. You know, everybody has all 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 hands on deck. That's it. Got to. And it makes for some exciting, it does. Ex- exciting, uh, exciting basketball. It really, does because really I, I ain't gonna lie, that Warriors and Lakers game. Even though I wanted, I wanted Steph Curry to go on and put the Lakers down, but uh, that was a, that was a very exciting game. And I'm talking about Steph went off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you, and it's almost like you got a game seven in a one game series. Yeah, you know, because you're putting it all out there on the line. Then that young stud, Jay Morant, man. Oh my God. Yeah, this been, dude, he yeah, is yeah. emerging very quickly. I'm gonna say. Yeah, he been he he been balling. Yeah, he been balling. Uh, you can't take nothing away from him, man. He that kid that kid can play some ball, man. Man, he doing he doing things that I, you know, wasn't expecting him to be doing at this point. You know, he really he really carrying that team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, since we are, since we talking about basketball, and everybody is talking about this topic, so we yeah, know- boy. Who? Yeah, I know you're finna go to. Oh, yeah, you boy, you were looking around like you saw somebody. I was like, wait a minute, hold up. <laughs> but uh, everybody on this topic, everybody, and rightfully so, it need to be. Kwame Brown, Matt Barnes, Gilbert Arenas, all what is it? All the Smoke podcast. Yeah, yeah, all the Smoke. Matt Barnes and uh and uh Stephen Jackson, they Steven was interviewing Jackson. Gilbert Arenas. Yeah, and uh, he made some. Some comments that this young man, Kwame Brown, didn't like. And he shot back at him. And I'm not going to lie, I really got mad respect for Kwame Brown, man. Because he is talking some real spit. You know what I'm saying? He is talking some real spit when it comes to this. And I don't know what your thoughts on it. Do you think what, like, what they said about him at first was kind of like, so, so? was it so bad to warrant him a, to have a reaction like that? Well, I think I think you got to go all the way back, you know what I mean, to 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 Kwame when he first got into the league. Yep. And uh, you know you got to look at it. It was a kid, man. You yep. know what I'm saying? 18 years old, and for him to steady, you know, be removed from the league all these years and steady have to put up with the flack of people calling him a bust. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And this and that. You know, I think that's really really. I mean, he he is taking the high road long enough. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it is time for him to clap back. You know what I'm saying, and let it be known. Hey, I, I mean, what else do you expect from me? Yep. You know what I'm saying. I did. I played in the league over ten years. You know what I'm saying. I I I, I got millions of dollars yep. or, or collected millions of dollars. Yeah. You know, through contracts and things like that. So, I mean, shit, man. What do we? What, 
you go if you're gonna call that man a bust, then uh, what well, I mean, what do you expect? Yeah. Did he live up to the number one draft pick? Draft pick? No. No, he didn't. I don't I don't I don't believe he did in that regard, but I mean still he had a uh successful NBA career. He did. And then you know what I'm saying, it was like I was listening to uh Shannon Sharp and Shannon Sharp was saying like uh, you know, that you gotta realize back then wasn't nobody looking for these these small guards like still carrying them now. They were looking for B. They were looking for somebody to go in and contend with Shaq, Tim Duncan. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like it was a good draft pick as far as picking Kwame. Now, I do know that, you know, Gilbert Arenas was saying that, you know, him going to be drafted up there with Michael Jordan and his Michael Jordan mentality, that kind of hurt his confidence a little bit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and that's that's what I say. Now, any time that you got a kid and you're trying to nurture him to be this star, you can't be down there just killing confidence for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know Mike the greatest. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't you 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 not even yo your, your era is over. You know what I'm saying? And you you ain't gotta sit out there and just come down hard on the kid because he ain't living up to your expectations. Nobody lives up to Michael Jordan's expectations. I mean, I mean, I think that's real life situations you can you can put too much pressure on, you know what I'm saying? saying kids that you know i mean you gotta first of all understand that this is an 18 year old kid right mind you he may be seven feet and a man child yeah but at the same time where is he at mentally right you know what i mean yeah. he still be he still want to play video games <laughs> and shit and yeah. you know you telling him hey man you got to especially when they i think they told him they finna put uh they finna put charles oakley on him and toughen him up and <laughs> <laughs> He's scared to death. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Gee, hell, I'm scared of Charles Oakland still to this day. Exactly. <laughs> so, but man, like, I don't know. I mean, like, to me, what Gilbert Arena said wasn't bad. I mean, now, the Matt Barnes situation, uh, he, he did go kind of hard on the young man. He did. He did. Well, you know, he ain't no young man no more, but he went hard on the man for no reason to me. And to be honest with you, I'm just looking at Matt Barnes. I'm like, bro. You wasn't all that great yourself. To exactly. be honest, you know what I'm saying. You was a journeyman for a reason. Good, a good journeyman, good role player. Yeah, I mean, you was more so known for your defense, but you wasn't no score. You exactly. know what I'm saying. Now, Stephen Jack, hey, Jack the ball. You gonna fill it up. You know what I'm saying. But I just look at it like, it's, it, and I'm I, why I say I'm with Kwame Brown on this. It's, it's about time for us to stop turning ourselves down. You know what I'm saying. It's like. Yeah, you could talk about it, but you ain't got to sit down and bash the man because he didn't live up to so-called this hype. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know? Yeah. And I do like the energy that he came back with him. Oh, yeah, he came he back snapping. He called him exactly <laughs> what, you know, you be my, you be wanting to call. Yeah. These motherfuckers sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, hell, you, you don't. You refrain from it, but he, he, ain't, he ain't pulling no punches. No, he ain't pulling no punches. Then even to sit back and... To have Charlemagne the guy come up and talk about it. And he like, oh, this man's family, leave him alone. His family is this and his family is that. I ain't gonna say what he said about it. I saw the uh uh Charlemagne, he gave himself donkey the other day. He shut up. Sometimes Charlemagne don't know when to shut up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But like, that that and that and then he you know, he broke it down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think the I think the apology was, you know, sincere. Yeah. He can't he, he might as well apologize because he ain't you can't that's the only way you're gonna get Kwame Brown off your ass. <laughs> Cause I'm talking about he on their ass. I'm oh. talking about if y'all didn't know who Kwame Brown was before. You definitely know you who he is now. Know who he is now, cause he ain't pulling no motherfucking punches, Jack. Man, I'm talking about Kwame, <laughs> I don't want no smoke. Look, I'm telling we telling you this at Sip City Five. Okay. We don't want no smoke. But that, now you can blow us up if you want to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that nigga, that the truth. That, <laughs> that nigga just like he, he just like one of me. Now, man, look, when I first seen the first video of him, he was, it was like a 30 minute video where he was just going hard. Yeah. And I was like, ooh, what did they say to make this man come out? Yeah, because after, after 12 years of, of, of being in, 10, 12 years of being in the league, yeah. you ain't got no Kwame Brown uh, audio. He ain't hardly say shit. I don't even remember him doing an interview. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Now I know he did. But yeah, I just but don't I mean, remember. you don't remember nothing. Like he wasn't, he wasn't outspoken like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, 
That man told y'all, look, you want it, you can come get it. That's it. He like, I've been, I've been out of the light. I've been doing me. Y'all brought me up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> for for no reason. And I asked you Keep to dragging leave me that alone. man. Keep dragging that man. Keep dragging that man. He told you what it was. What he called you? Lights. Uh, 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 light skin Becky with the good hair. Light skin Becky <laughs> with the good hair. With the finger wave. <laughs> and you done let motherfucker. <laughs> Say you need to be out here, try, nigga, light skinned nigga, like you need to be out here trying to steal a nigga bitch. But yeah, you getting your bitch stolen. Getting your bitch stolen. <laughs> Man, that shit was hilarious to me. Man, I'm telling you. <laughs> Thank you with a good hair. Every time I try to go on YouTube now, I can't get on YouTube. It's throwing me off of YouTube. Boy, they love to block people that tell the truth. So, Becky with the good hair, you went to work today. You went to ESPN to your white mama, Rachel Nichols, who I know very well, who if you look at the timeline of when I was a teenager and when I was in D.C., she was right there and she was interviewing me and she was very disrespectful herself. So it would make sense that they put Rachel Nichols there to ask them little black boys in front of white mama what it is you think about this guy and then Matt Barnes, your response was so corny. Really, Becky with the good hair? You really telling me you don't know what happened? You don't know why? When you stop, well, you love showing out front of them white women, don't you, boy? When you stop Miss Jeannie Buss from saying what she was saying, which she was saying something factual, it don't have nothing to do with me being angry, sir. It has everything with me exposing the hypocrisy and how you fake niggas get a position and you do white people bidding, nigga. All you jack and all you niggas do is talk about black males all day long. That's all you do. Now you on ESPN talking about another black male that you won't have a conversation with. You went and sat up there in front of, and then the other nigga, what do you have to say, Richard Jefferson? I don't have anything to say. I ain't gonna say nothing about you because you ain't had nothing to do with this. But boy, they like niggas like y'all. No connection to nothing. Just all disrespectful. You wanna sit up here and act like you don't know why somebody would wanna call you out. As if you some perfect ass nigga. As if you was the best nigga in the league or something. You role-playing ass, angry ass punk. You sitting here acting like you was like that or something. Because you done made friendships and you kissing ass all day, nigga. I don't like the way ass tastes. So I be by myself in the same truck Jack talking about I drive. Yeah, I sure do drive trucks. You not even that smart, are you, boy? You going to disrespect half the people that drive trucks and you from Texas? See, that shows your level of education, you stupid motherfucker. But I told you, you nigga barked up the wrong motherfucking tree. And instead of somebody tapping you on the shoulder and telling you, leave that there boy alone. Whatever they told you about that one, they was wrong. Leave that. Damn boy. I told you about this shit, boy. A nigga like you. Nigga, I know you feel inadequate, boy. That's why you keep talking about real men. You lost your woman to a real man, boy, right next to you. He probably was watching how you were moving, you punk. He probably was texting your old lady at the goddamn gatherings. When y'all had galas and balls, he was texting your wife, punk. And you sitting on a news station, you talking about other men, boy? You talking about other men, boy? Have you lost your mind? They pay you niggas to get on TV every day and disrespect black men. 
That's all you niggas do is how to look at me show. Well, that look at me show is over with, nigga. Now you gonna look at me, boy. The fuck you talking about? You inadequate, boy. That's why you always got another man name in your mouth. And then you always acting like, now you want to talk like a politician. Oh, I don't know what was going on. I was just taking my son to the game. Bitch, you lucky Derek ain't take him to the game, punk. The fuck you talking about? You were just taking your son to the game. You don't know what's going on. And you sitting up in one podcast and then the next podcast and you tapping on folks talking about another grown man. Nigga, I'm 20 years removed from the number one draft pick, nigga. And you sitting here running your mouth about a man that ain't never said nothing about you in that manner? I never said you couldn't have an opinion, sir. So to sit here and try to pump some narrative talking about he butt hurt about being the number one draft pick. How the hell the nigga that's butt hurt that ain't saying nothing to nobody about nothing? If you never would have put that extra disrespect on it, bro, let that woman finish her sentence and don't say nothing. But no, you talk too motherfucking much. And that's probably why your ex-wife was tired of hearing you run your motherfucking mouth and trying to be pretty than her, nigga. Sitting up in the mirror, hogging all the mirror space, trying to get that activator in that finger wave, nigga. And you running your mouth talking about somebody like me? Boy, you need to stop, boy. I done told you. You done stepped in that goddamn quicksand, boy. I don't got to lie and make up shit. The only joke you got, boy, when is this basketball joke going to run out? You keep hitting me with basketball jokes. I keep hitting you with your real soft ass, punk ass life. Now, which one didn't like you, boy? Your granddaddy that was black or your granddaddy that was white? Because there's some deep issues in you, boy, that you can't understand what the fuck I'm trying to say. That in America right now, boy, white people are scared to talk about black people right now as a whole. And you niggas getting on camera every day talking about black males. That's all you niggas do. You want to sit here and make me look a certain way, boy? When a nigga, some nigga done ate your food. Some Derek Fisher done open your doors to your house. <laughs> Derek Fisher got your keys to your truck. Bitch ass nigga, send some gas money so you can pick them kids up. Yeah. Now what you do, nigga? You niggas want to sit on TV and act like y'all niggas perfect. And you can't respect when a man tell you you wrong, bro. Well, let, let the gloves come off. The only joke you got is about basketball. I got a joke about your life, you punk bitch. The fuck is you talking about? What is Derek Fisher? Is he the mentor or the stepdaddy or what? Because he your mentor too, you punk. Y'all niggas a trip. You want to sit online and this is what Rachel Nichols sat there and got your dumb ass to say something else again. Because see, Rachel Nich Nichols know I'm going to say something. I ain't got shit to lose. I don't got no big podcast. You the dumb nigga that keep responding to a nigga that you bigger than. You stupid motherfucker. You ain't learn nothing because you think you tough. A light-skinned nigga like you with slick ass hair should be acting like Drake and taking niggas girls. But no, you getting your girl too because you want to be a thug. You want to smoke weed and play cards all night, punk. Whatever you thought you knew about me, nigga, you were wrong. But uh, you get back on ESPN, nigga, and take that little white paycheck to sit there and disrespect another man, boy. You sit there and do that. That's what's up. And then turn around and scream, Wakanda. That's why white folk laugh at us every day because of stupid motherfuckers like you. Part-time thugs, part-time podcaster, and part-time real nigga. You a part-time man, boy. The fuck is you talking about you was at a football game? You a joke. You a joke, nigga. You ain't never spoke to me. You ain't never, this is how I know you a joke, nigga. You ain't never uttered two words to me, nigga. As a man, you never shook my hand, boy. But on the internet, you talking like that? What kind of nigga are you, boy? Oh, I forgot. You one of them mixed, confused niggas. I forgot. You niggas always got to join the call. Always. I want to be down. 
for what you know is true. You niggas, light-skinned motherfuckers, always want to be down. Not all of you, some of you motherfuckers. Always want to be down, always got to be proving something. Punk motherfucker, you wasn't black enough and you wasn't white enough. You stuck in the middle. Stuck in the middle, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell you nigga about fucking with me, what? And the more you keep running your mouth, Rico Suave, the more I'ma fuck with you, Becky, with the good hair. You better take heed and shut your bitch ass up. I done told you now. You ain't never had nobody tell you, shut your bitch ass up. But you got a nigga telling you that right now. Shut your motherfucking mouth, boy. You don't compare to me, nigga. You gonna make basketball jokes and all kind of dumb shit. And that's what them white folks hired you for, boy. So keep dancing and clapping. But this one you better move on from, nigga. Fuck you talking about. This shit ain't working in your favor. It really not. You're looking stupid, nigga. Fuck you talking about. You got something to say about a man that ain't said nothing about you. And then a nigga come to you like a man and say, hey, look here, man. You know, that ain't what you supposed to be doing. Hey, why don't you tell Doug that? Why don't you tell this person that? No, nigga, I'm telling you that, fang away. Nigga, I, I, I might pay your stylist to, to quit for a couple of days, you finger wave head pump. I need to pay your stylist to quit for a week. Getting online with a finger wave running your motherfucking mouth about men, boy. The fuck you talking about? You niggas crazy. But I'm gonna let you live for a little bit, boy. I'm gonna let you live because I got somewhere to be. But don't you ever put that little soft ass tongue on me, nigga. Have a conversation with me instead of about me. That's what you do. With everybody else, you tough. You running up on them. You talking all the tough shit. You want to smoke. With me, you talking to a white lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, with me, you talking to a white lady. Yeah, come talk to me. I can show you daddy's cooking, nigga. Bitch ass, nigga. <laughs> I'm like, wow, bro. This shit going on. And it's like, I literally surf YouTube every day to see what the response is. Oh yeah, it's been this is, this has been really, 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 you know, on the top of the search list. Hey, you know what I'm saying? But you know, I mean, like like you say, man, we 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 it, it's time out for. You know, he's saying they using their platforms to 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 break down a, a bl another black man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Instead of using that platform, you know what I'm saying to do some good. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I, I mean, y'all get paid. To give y'all opinions. Yeah, y'all, your opinion don't have to be negative all the time. All the time, you know, all the time. That goes for anything, anybody with a platform. Your, your views do not have to be negative all the time. Sometimes we just need to celebrate, like, these kids graduating right now. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, yeah, you celebrate it for the moment. But it's just like I went to a graduation Saturday. And the valedictorian, I, you know, and I don't, I don't know her personally. You know, I, I had a family member of mine that graduated, but the, val the val valedictorian had a 4.0 GPA. Mm -hmm. She created a creative writing course for the school. She was the founder of it. Mm -hmm. And she got over $900,000 in scholarships. But see, you don't hear that being talked about. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And I think, you know, me and you had talked about it one time before, like everything that, that people want to hear is the negative. Exactly. And which I ain't gonna lie, controversy it creates content. Controversy sells. Controversy sells. We know this. We we are a part of this uh, yep. system. Yep. You know we have created controversy. Yeah. But we try to do it in a way where you can get something out of it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're getting out of bashing Kwame Brown. That's 20 years or I don't know how many years long he's been out. Removed from the league, right? What is, what is that adding to 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 it? You know right. what I mean? Right. I mean, you steady kicking the man. You know what I'm saying? God, Well, they say you back you back a cat into the corner. He gonna come out fight. Oh yeah, most and, definitely. And Kwame came out swinging for the fences. Man, I don't <laughs> know what that dude doing now. I don't know if he got no more money left. Right. But he can really monetize off of this because people are really intrigued. Yeah. Uh. By, by, you know what he's doing right now and yeah. how he's speaking his mind. Yeah, and, and he said it right. He was like, a lot of people don't want to hear what he got to say because he's speaking the real. And like, well, I tell people like this, I can only 
the truth only rings with me when it's something that, that I can feel. And now, like I say, I just, I listen to the man talking. He makes a lot of sense to me. I ain't saying that he making sense to everybody, but to me, he making sense. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Exactly. Then he gave it to all the motherfuckers on the Breakfast Club, too. All of them. DJ Envy. Yeah, and then the bad boy Envy didn't even really say nothing. Uh, <laughs> Envy was like, man, I'm not touching corn, man. <laughs> he agreed. He agreed with some of the shit. So you get it, too, nigga. Yep, Angela E. He gave it up. Gave it. Then you know what I'm saying. He he bring out some points. You know what I'm saying. Like if we sit there as viewers, you know what I'm saying. That we let them get away with. You know what I mean. Yeah. But he really brought some shit to light that I was like, well, why the fuck we giving them motherfuckers a pass? Yeah. You know what I mean. Shit, fuck that. Yeah. It's just like uh, I even like something on that same podcast. Gil Barina said, said it like this. He was like, he wish it was to the point where you could have like the old the older players come in and mentor the younger players. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it was stated on there that you got a lot of them that try, but the league don't allow it. Mm -hmm. You you know what I'm saying? Which, at the time, you you really taking advantage of these young kids a lot of times. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. that's why I tell people, sports is good, sports is fun, it's great as far as activities, and it can get you a long way. Because when you look at somebody like LeBron James and what he did with his platform as, as, as being the NBA superstar he is, that stuff to congratulate, you know, you know, but you don't have enough of that, I say, or it's not talked about you enough. Know, Let me say know, it like that. You know, shout out to all the high school and college graduates. Yep. You know Congratulations, to Congratulations to y'all. Congratulations, y'all took a big step, completing a a milestone. I was telling somebody that last night. I was like, shit, that's a that's a big big milestone. You know what I'm saying to accomplish, cause. Uh, me, me myself. When I was in school, I thought school was gonna end. Like, I didn't think I was gonna have to go all the years. <laughs> I thought we get to about sixth grade or something. This, that's it. That's hey man. I don't, I don't need no more, dude. Oh ah, shit! <laughs> nah, hey motherfucker, say you gotta keep going. Yeah. Like motherfucker, I'm tired of getting up this early in the I'm, damn morning. I'm telling you, but you know, catching this damn bug. Catching that big yellow banana, as they say. Hell, yeah, <laughs> shit, man. But you know. Y'all got, y'all got, y'all got to uh, keep your focus and go on ahead on young adults now. Yo, keep your dream. That's what I tell people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I had a conversation with, with, a, with, with, with a graduate Saturday, and I told her, I was like, look, you keep your dream, your dreams in perspective. Don't, don't go out here and try to fulfill nobody else's dream for you. Mm -hmm. you. You fulfill the dream you want for yourself. And that's a lot of times what these young kids do. They take the expectations of somebody else and try to make it theirs. And I'm not saying that everybody fails at it. I'm not saying everybody, you know, makes good on it. But a lot of times that's where that's where people get into career fields and, and, and different schools and different majors and stuff like that and they not happy in it because you're doing it for somebody else. You're not doing I it. For I think yourself. I think if you if you if you're not doing it for yourself then it's just gonna be a waste of time. But yeah. you know, don't don't use that as an excuse either, you know. Right, right, right. You know, at least, you know, at least give it a chance. Dream big, you know what I'm saying? Things are happen out, things are happen good for you, you know what I mean? You you don't have to go to college, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's a lot of trade schools, it's a lot of different things you can do versus, you know what I'm saying, going to college. But, you know, if that's what you want to do, yeah. and uh, for the education in college, yeah, by all means, do that. Oh, yeah. Like I said, one great field right now to get into. Is the, is the IT field, information yeah. technology. Yeah. Because right now, everything is... I thought about going to school for that shit. Shit, man, you ain't the only one. Like, I see, I see so many different jobs and stuff like that looking for IT people, you know? And it's, 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 it's the avenue is out there because everything now is computer-based, computer robotic-based, yeah. everything. Like, you can literally, like, they got jobs out here now where you, if you got an information technology degree, you can sit at home and run a robot. And get paid damn near hundred thousand dollars a year. Oh yeah, give me that job. You know what I'm saying? Like I see, it's virtual. Give me that shit. You know? Yeah. Matter of fact, one of the companies that do it is Amazon. Yeah, I can do that. You know? I want to work overnight. You work whenever. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you know, as far as the Kwame Brown thing, that's just the type of stuff that he was talking about. Like y'all, y'all don't, y'all don't talk about this good stuff. Y'all only want to just bash on people, knock people down, do this and do that. Man, Matt Barnes, anybody else that talking about that man, I'm telling you like this, let it be. 
anytime, especially when you start talking about you want to take it to the streets. Matt Barnes talking about he want to take it to the streets that they can that they can do this or they can do this. Bro, y'all ain't y'all ain't doing nothing. Nigga, you ain't. I don't think you want to smoke with Kwame. I don't think he want it either. That's just me. I don't think you want it. Oh, of course he don't. I ain't even talking about his his, his, his his background or folk background. I'm just talking about how this man motherfucker talking. Plus, it's about, like I say, it ain't no small motherfucker. Right. This man still 6'9". <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? Fuck up you want to. All right. You talking about you? you it's, it's all the smoke. You going to have some smoke coming with it. But, uh, you know, as far as with that, though, we just got to get to a point, man, where we as black people, we as minorities, stick together with one another. You just don't realize how far you can get when you pull your resources as a people. And, and I do know how far we can get. <laughs> we pool our resources every weekend. I'm telling you. We all pitch in on the beer and the, and the, and the food, food whatever we doing. and whatever we're doing. Yep. But now... We can do that, but then when it's time to pitch in on a business idea or a business plan or a business proposal or something like that, we get we get we get leery. We yep. get we get hesitant. Well, for one, and it's you because know, right now as far as a, a physical building and all that, right now I'm I'm kind of out on that yep. at this particular time. What I really want to do next is get a group of individuals together. Uh, let's start an uh, uh, investment club. You know what I'm saying? Investing in, you know, uh, stocks, things like that. These startup companies. I ain't fucking with that dog Doji coin right now. <laughs> Whatever right? that is. I think that's some bullshit. They done got y'all motherfucking niggas. But crypto On that Doji coin. Nah, I wish I'd have got that Bitcoin. I'm telling you. But now, who knows? Who knows? Don't let me discourage you. You do you. You do you. Yeah. All right? it, that, that just, because the Bitcoin, I had somebody come to me early when it first hit. Shout out to my cousin Joe in Chicago. He tried to get us in on it early. Mm -hmm. And I was skeptical about it because, you know, I didn't know what it was. You know what I mean? Yeah. And if I, like now, I'd, I'd, have, I'd have been sitting back on, on Easy Street. Yep. If I'd have kept it, you know. Well, see, that's one, like I say, for one thing, the reason we so leery when it comes to investing, you know what I'm saying, we not taught how to invest. You know what I'm saying? And then the people that actually try to teach you how to invest, you look at them like, oh, you uh, just trying Most to get of them over. trying to get over. That's what I'm saying. So. Then they want you to pay this for they take this course, this yeah. class, and then like, I'm, I'm like this. There's a lot of information that's out there that's free. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Utilize it. You yeah. know what I mean? So that's that's what I do. I, I try to, you know, you know what I do. I would Google it or yeah. go to YouTube and, and search it and, and look it up. Hell. Yeah. Like I said, anybody I bought, out there that want to give some investing advice, you're more than welcome to come hit the show if you want to. Yeah. You know I, what I'm saying? I bust my one out of my car. I'm, I'm not going to pay nobody to put it in there. <laughs> I got YouTube. So wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. Hold this on, is hold a thirty-minute job. <laughs> so you finna try to install a window? Yes, I'm gonna go buy the window and put it in myself. I have to see this. I have to see this. Look, <laughs> I got to see this. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> you make sure you call me. <laughs> I am. I'll call this. you. I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm matter of fact, I'm probably gonna. What's the day? Monday. I may go order that. I may go order it tomorrow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The window already by itself is over five hundred dollars. I can see that. So, I ain't finna pay nobody no another two, three hundred dollars <coughs> to put it in. You know what I mean? I could do that myself. I seen the video. It's not that hard. I ain't say it wasn't hard. I'm just saying I just know that's something I ain't never seen done. I, I wouldn't try. Glass is breakable. <laughs> yeah, it is, but I mean, I have seen it. I hate this. They had to learn how to put it in. Yeah, but I hate to spend five hundred on a piece of glass, man, and that mother break while I'm trying to put it in. Mm. <laughs> I be, you talking about somebody sick. I ain't going to break that motherfucker. Trust, <laughs> trust me. Not for no 500, Jack. Who's me? Nah, One yeah. fucking well, I will be there to see this. Yeah, I'm going to call you when it come in. I'm, I'm going to be like the old folks. I'm going to supervise this situation. <laughs> I need a, I'm going to need a assistant. <laughs> Pass me that screwdriver. <laughs>